Hi everybody, welcome back to My Slice of Heaven. I'm Chris, and I thought I would show you guys the kinds of foods that we eat while we are here at our property. We only have a small 15 foot camper, and while there is a gas stove here with two burners, there is a leak in the propane line that we don't know where it's at. We don't have time to figure it out, so we're just not using it. We don't even have a propane tank connected. So we have a microwave. We, when we have enough time, depending on how much work we're doing, we can start, of course, an open fire outside. And this trip, we decided to bring a crock pot with so we can make crock pot meals. So in this video, I'm going to show you the meals that we make while we're here. So maybe it'll give you some ideas of some cheap, quick, easy meals you can make while you are in your camper or uh, maybe off grid or, well, not off grid. We definitely need electric because we got the microwave. A lot of our meals are microwave meals. All right. So maybe this will give you some ideas though. So stick around. Stick around. And for breakfast every day, we have the same thing. We have these microwavable breakfast sandwiches. It is cheese, egg, and sausage on a croissant. You get a package of four of them for like $2.50 or something. So it's a great price and they taste really good. Um, Aldi has um, other varieties with a biscuit and such as well, but we really like the croissants the best. So that is breakfast every day. So tonight's dinner, we are going to have barbecue pork loin sandwiches. So we just picked up a pork loin, putting it in a crock pot. And as I told you guys before, I really love these, uh, these liner bags. We're actually going to have two different crock pot meals. This way I don't have to worry about washing the crock pot while we're here. We don't have running water or anything at the camper. So we're just uh, going to put some barbecue sauce on the pork loin. And put it on, I guess I'll put it on low. We have enough time before dinner. And um, we'll have barbecue pork loin sandwiches for one dinner while we're here. All right, here is the barbecue pork sandwiches. After, what were they, in the crock pot for about seven hours. Another meal we have pretty often while we're here is microwavable lasagna. Sure, it's not the best. You know, homemade lasagna is certainly much better than microwavable lasagna, but when all you have is a microwave, what do you do? Uh, one meal that I won't be able to show you this time, and I'm going to just tell you about it right now, is um, microwavable Salisbury steak. We bring that quite often as well and serve that on bread. So it's, we pick it up at the same time as the lasagna. The store was out of it this time, so we weren't able to bring any of that with this trip. Another simple, inexpensive meal to make is crock pot uh, chicken tacos. You put the chicken in the crock pot. Again, I'm using this liner. Uh, you put the chicken, either frozen or defrosted, in the crock pot. Put a package of taco seasoning on it and then um, when you're ready for dinner you shred it up and put it on flour tortillas with some cheese i think we forgot to pack cheese oh well no cheese tonight just chicken tacos um we also we also have this meal at home rather frequently as well it's a nice simple meal requires no uh no prep no setup all right, and here's the chicken taco. We went ahead and um, took out some pepper jack cheese slices that was going to be part of our lunch meat sandwiches. Still plenty of um, still plenty of cheese for that. So we still have some cheese on our tacos. Although Joey informs me that we forgot the hot sauce. So there it is, chicken tacos.
And tonight for dinner, we're actually having what we packed for lunch. Joey's having roast beef sandwiches, and I'm having a turkey sandwich. We've been eating breakfast so late, we haven't been hungry for lunch. And so we're having our lunch meat sandwiches for dinner tonight. So those are several quick, easy meals that we have here. You know, a lot of times when we're here at the property, we are working as much as we can. And by the time we're done working, it's, it, well, it's dark, uh, we're tired. So we like the quick, fast, easy meals like this. Um, couple that we didn't have this weekend or this week that we were here that we brought with in case we needed them. Um, if we had felt up for making a campfire, we brought with hot dogs. We usually have hot dogs just on bread with ketchup or mustard. Nice thing with hot dogs, you don't have to worry about if you cook them all the way. A lot of times we want to bring with like Italian sausages or something like that. But then you have to worry about if you cooked them all the way because they are raw. Whereas with hot dogs, they're cooked all the way. So it doesn't really matter. Also, you know, we're usually tired. The kids usually still have energy. They love cooking over the fire. So you give them the hot dog stick. Ours are certainly old enough to do that. You give them the hot dog stick and they'll cook everybody's hot dogs. Um, and then we bring marshmallows and you get a nice roasted marshmallow for dessert. I have to cook my own roasted marshmallow because I'm very picky that they're toasted brown just right. But if you're not so picky, the kids can roast those for them for you also. They certainly roast their own. Another meal that we brought with was we brought with um, microwavable pizza bites. Yes, you can cook them in the oven when you're at home. Don't have an oven in the camper. So we microwave them and they taste just fine. Um, again, nice, quick, easy meals because we are tired, we are wore out. And especially during the summer, it's late by the time we're done working and we are hungry. Whereas this time of year, you know, we have more time, but we're still tired and didn't feel like spending a lot of effort on cooking and it's dark outside. You know, if we spent any time with the campfire cooking when it's still daylight out, we wouldn't have had any time to get any actual work done. So these nice, quick, easy meals like this really gave us a lot more time to get some work done. So hopefully this gave you some ideas of things that you can do in a situation like this. If you like this video, please go ahead and give me a thumbs up. Or as Joey always says, maybe you didn't like the video, but you're just like me. Give me a thumbs up. Um, and as always, guys, have a great day.